So how much does a service designer earn? What is their salary? That's a really good and interesting question. In a lot of fields, for instance, like UX, it's quite easy to find uh, those answers. In a field like service design, it's a bit harder. I've been in this field for almost 15 years and still uh, have to find a reliable resource to get this data. So it's about time to do something and to fix this. And that's what we're going to do in the first global service design salary report. And we're going to do that in true service design fashion because we're going to co-create this report. And there are two steps in this co-creation process. Step one is quite obvious. Um, there's a link in this post and that link leads you to a survey. It's what I would call a minimal viable survey. Uh, there's just a handful of questions. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes to fill it in. And it's of course totally anonymous. Um, that's step one in the co-creation process. Step two is the, what I call the snowball. And the snowball is just as important as step one. Because in order to reach uh, as many people in the service design community as possible, it's important that we let the snowball grow by sharing and spreading this salary report and this survey. So grab the link, share it in Facebook groups, share it in Slack channels. Well, why not even share it here on LinkedIn? And let's see how big we can make the snowball. Because the more people who participate in this salary report, the more reliable data it will be and the more valuable this resource will become for the entire community. So click the link, head over to the survey, share it with your network, and let's create a super valuable resource for the entire community together.